this is one of the better looking things in my neighborhood right now you know this neighborhood really sucks y'all I want to tell you a little bit about it here while I let my pizza cool off you know we got a lot of homeless people living down here at the foot of our block our neighborhood sometimes when my neighbor Kelly goes to pick up her son at the bus stop there on New Tampa Highway in Lakeland Florida these people will uh, come out of the woods there on CSX property and ask for money and uh, if you don't give it to them they can be a little rough on you and she said that guy made her cry he hollered at her and he's a big old gladiator looking fellow man looks like he's about six foot five or something and I'm 6'1 and 215 220 something like that he makes me look little <clears throat> Gordon Watts happening. So, uh, what are you up to? Well, dude, I'm in the middle of making a YouTube video. Okay, yeah, you know how to do that. Hey, um, so, um, I want to find out that you were on call to do that. What did he say? I didn't call him. Dude, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why if you'll listen. I found on Yahoo Answers and uh, so forth, uh, Blueprint Affiliate or Blueprint.com, whatever it was, I can't remember. A legitimate way to make money, man. And I'm just not real savvy on the computer. And, uh, so That's like why. I found out. Um, um, to take a message. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I, I found out how to do it on the internet with that Yahoo Answers and, uh, like I said, that blueprint, Dude, that whatever it was, was something. Free, all right, and he still will. Actually, yeah. if you call, if you have fifteen, uh, hold on, you have fifteen minutes before nine o'clock. Uh, fourteen minutes and thirty mm -hmm. seconds now. I rounded because I wasn't sure on the second. And if you um, check your voicemail, you can call that dude up if you have his number still. I don't have it, and I'm not in front of my computer. Mm-hmm. you still have the dude's number? I'm well, not, dude, I have to give him dude. email and our voicemail to phone. What I learned was is it ain't easy, you know, and somebody like you could do it, but you don't want to do it. Dude, dude, it, you're right. It's not easy. That's the thing I was trying to tell to you. Look, let me ask you a question. Um... Don't you think it would be easier for you to walk, physically walk to your work and, and meet the people than to deal with the people on the internet that you don't know? There's assholes, there, don't tell me about assholes and mm -hmm. McDonald's and you're a manager. There's assholes all over the place, right? Don't you think it would be physically easier? <laughs> of course it would. That's why I told people working at McDonald's and do internet bullshit, all right? But if you were to become a, a manager of a McDonald's and they sold the thing to you under a contract, that it was yours, but you had to give them a certain amount of profits and follow certain guidelines, you know. You know, nothing really serious. You could you could change certain things like the sign. It'd be a pain in the ass to run the business. Right? You'd sure it would. People. Yeah, but dude, the money that you can make from it, you know, the payback. Well, Ray Kroc, the guy who founded McDonald's, you're talking about McDonald's, not the internet, right? No. Dude, listen to me. You are. You can make just as much money flipping burgers if you advance up in the scheme of things, all right? If you become cheap burger flipper. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, this guy is a doubtful Thomas. Don't listen to him. He'll never have nothing. People watch.